Hello everyone. So um um this is episode two of my series of buying different things from eBay, unboxing it and seeing if it was a good deal or not. Today, um like last time I bought a roll of wheat pennies with an extra Indian head penny. And um I will go through this go, go through this roll and see if it was a good deal or not. Um I'll get I'll open up this roll and show you the packaging. Similar to what the last roll was, but here on the roll it actually says something. Thank you for your eBay purchase. Our goal is to earn your five star 100% positive feedback. Okay. So this is exactly what the other one said. You're a stud. Okay, this makes me happy. So again, they're asking for positive feedback like the last one. And they're trying to avoid negative feedback, which I would do if I would have been selling on eBay. So I'll get I'll get into this and show you what I got. Hey everyone, I have opened the roll and on this side is our bonus Indian Eye Penny, just like promised. 1903. It's not bad condition, which what I would expect from a bonus bonus Indian Eye Penny. And on this side, oh we have an extra mint mark. Not bad. Looks like a nineteen forty eight. Possibly maybe forty one. Um I'm not sure. So I'll get into this roll. If I find something amazing, I'll bring you back in and if not, I'll make a wrap up of the end through this roll and um here i have all the coins that i got so right here the big pile is the 1950s next to it are the 1940s in front this one is the 1940s and right next to it are actually all of the 1940 s's so we did get a lot of s mint marks in the 40s not so much in the 50s but a lot of the 40s then we had um like a little bit of 1930s and only one 1920. We did have more, but those were the oldest coins. The The best condition coin was 1956 Denver. It is in very nice shape. I would say almost uncirculated. But the back doesn't look as good. But the front is gorgeous. Then we have our bonus Indian head scent. I never showed you the back. Here it is. Again, not as good a shape as the front of the coin, but I'm not mad. And last, we got the two oldest wheat bunnies, which were both 1926's Philadelphia. could see a little bit of detail on the wheats so that's a good sign and on the other one you could see a bit more detail so actually overall for this one i think i got scammed because paying ten dollars for this most of this was 50s and 40s that you could just get in a penny box like regular cornwall hunting finds and and honestly, did not have enough of these older, older wee pennies, because, because these and this was uh, too little for how much you paid for this. I was expecting a lot more thirties and twenties, maybe even some teens. For the will be f the for on the first episode, I think I got a good deal because it did have a little more thirties and twenties, but it also had a teen. And also, the mix of dates wasn't as good. Um, I know I got a lot of San Francisco mints, but I kind of was hoping for a better mix of dates. Like, if you want to fill in your coin album and other things. So, um, so for this one, I actually think I got scammed. And um, if you want to help my channel, if you want to help out my channel, please like and subscribe. It's free. And it supports my channel a lot. Also, leave a comment if you want to buy, if you want to, to see me buy more rolls like these, and tell me what types of rolls, V nickels, 
more penny rolls, buffalo nickels, other things, okay? So, again, please like and subscribe. It's free, and it helps me a lot. Happy hunting.